How are you doing today? Pretty good. Oh, yeah. Hey, well, just so you guys know, we're hanging out this area where they killed that dog just last weekend. Right. Just kind of keeping an eye on what's happening. It looks like most of the hunting's done, but we're not sticking our noses in anybody's baits or anything. It looks like most people have stopped baiting in this area. Yeah. But uh, that's what we're doing this weekend. We ended up with a disabled hunter who got a hold of us. And we're trying to see if we can get him yeah, well, thanks for letting us know. We'll stay out of your way. I mean, hopefully you won't have any problems with wolves if you're hunting down this area. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, they were across ways and now they came in this way. They don't want to have anything to do with this. <laughs> One, one point you guys made was that you had an issue with dog running in Wisconsin and bear hunting in the state of Wisconsin. So what is your main issue with it? Let me say this, like, these are two of my big points, is, is that there's no limit or registration system for baiting, so there's no way of knowing how many baits there are. And I think there's lots of conflicts because I think baits are attracting wolves now. That there's enough of them, and there's enough wolves that you know the wolves are being attracted to those baits either because of the bait that's in them or the animals that are being attracted to them. I think that's a problem because then when you guys go and check for a sign, you know those bears see your dogs as a threat. You know, want to talk Not, them. Have you ever gone to Maine? No. What do you mean to Maine? Maine. No. Okay. They do have a registration system. Mm -hmm. You have to register every single bait. Mm -hmm. Agreed. You know, no big deal. You give your your coordinates, everything, and yeah. put your your name has to be on a board. I think it's like a two by four or two yeah. by six. Minnesota's got it. right. Kind of I have no problem with mm -hmm. that. Yeah. You know, I understand. You know, there's groups with a hundred baits. That's a lot of bait. Yeah. But the group is bigger. But still that is oh, a lot of bait. That's kinda of overkill. And, and that's and that makes you guys easy pickings for us. You that's know. why we want to Okay, so getting back to your first question, I just wanna let you know what my issue is with pounds in particular as opposed to baits, is is the training season. But I think it's too long. That Two the, months, yeah. It, it, there's a lot of conflict. The bears are being run in the summertime. It's, it's, it's hard on the bears. It's hard on the wolves. It's hard on your dogs. Mm, you got to understand, we're not just sitting here taking the old dogs. We're trying to also mm -hmm. get young dogs in and train. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do you think, when do you think is the most risky time of a wolf depredation as a houndsman? There actually is a for where more dogs are getting killed. To me, that seems to be late summer, early fall. Right at, right towards the very end, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, I mean, we, we have pretty much the same points of view, mm -hmm. you know, that yes, there are things the DNR can change. 